All right. So now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 24. All right. So the sort method accepts a call, pardon me, a compare callback function that defines the sort order. In this example, the first condition a.name is less than b.name checks if the name of the first fruit is less than the name of the second fruit. If so, the first fruit is stored before the second fruit, all right? So strings are compared lexicographically, which means they are compared character by character. For example, apples is less than bananas because A comes before B, right? So if there was, uh, if it was comparing apples to the word Aaron, like A-A-R-O-N, Aaron would come in front because P is, you know, after A. So it's just like regular alphabetical order, right? So the reason why this example is returning numbers is because the sort method is expecting a number to be returned. If we return a negative number, the first item is sorted before the second item, right? So yeah, if a.name is less than b.name, then we're going to return negative one, right? So a is less than b, according to what this thing just said. So a would stay in front of b. That's basically what that's saying, right? So in our callback function, we're going to add an if statement to check if a.title is less than b.title. And if so, we're going to return negative one, right? So we'll say if, we'll have the parentheses, we'll say a.title is less than b.title, all right? Then we'll have the curly braces, and inside here we'll return negative one, like this. Cap it off with a semicolon, check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 25, and we'll see you next time.